What can a painting teach you about my course AI policy? I'm here in New York City, and I want to take you to one of my favorite pieces at the Museum of Modern Art. Let's go. Starry, starry night. Van Gogh painted Starry Night in 1889, capturing the view from his asylum window, and it's gone on to be one of the most famous Western paintings in the world. But did you know that while Van Gogh was alive, he only sold a single painting? So why did Van Gogh paint? To Van Gogh, painting was about the process. Painting gave him spiritual fulfillment and helped him feel closer to the world, closer to nature, and helped him with himself. As AI tools become more advanced, we're faced with a rather existential question. What do we do when creation comes with a keystroke? Van Gogh's journey offers an answer. The process is just as important as the product. In a university setting, the product is grades or a degree, but the process is learning. When you rely on AI tools to do complete assignments for you, you circumvent that learning process. Our brains evolved to need challenge to learn. We need friction. We need a little bit of struggle. It's this process that fosters genuine growth. My role as an educator is to guide you through this learning journey, to encourage the process, not just the product. This is why my AI policy asks you to genuinely engage with the material. I want to read your thoughts, not just an AI's output. I want to foster a sense of trust between us. I want to be able to trust that the work that I'm getting is work that you've done genuinely, but I also want you to be able to trust that I'm the one who's grading your work. I'm the one who built this course. I'm the one that you're engaging with. AI is not going away. It's going to be part of your future. As an educator, I want to motivate you to think critically about how you're using AI. I'll be using tools to evaluate whether you're using AI in totality in your work, but I've also designed my assignments to challenge AI usage broadly. I want this policy to encourage thoughtful use when you use AI in my class and in your life beyond this. I use AI tools myself, but I never allow it to take over the learning journey or the experiences that I want to engage in. I became an educator because I enjoy reading your work. I enjoy teaching. To me, there are few greater joys than witnessing a student learn a difficult concept. This is why I'm here. I don't want to give that work to a machine. I want to engage with it. I hope you'll approach this course with a mindset that is attentive to learning. AI is a tool, not a shortcut to finishing the work for you. There are many ethical issues around AI from hallucination and accuracy to attribution and copyright. I encourage you to think critically about these topics as you engage with AI when you complete assignments in my class and beyond. If you want to discuss any of these complex ideas around AI or talk to me more about your usage and whether it's acceptable, please reach out. I love having these conversations and I would love to make time for you. So the next time you use ChatGPT or any other generative AI tool, think about Van Gogh. Think about whether your usage is encouraging a learning process or whether it's just replacing that process and giving you a product. Pay attention to the journey that you're constructing. I can't wait to see what you come up with this semester. Stay curious, stay resilient, and above all, live life in flux. See you in class.